Question 5 on this exam is a permutations question. So 2m's, m, m, 2 e's, and 2 n's. And they're saying if one of the n's is replaced with another m. So I'll write, I'll write uh, the second version. So this is sort of the first set. That's an m there. Uh, the second set will be one of the n's is replaced by an m. So we now have 3 m's, the 2 e's, and just the one n. Okay, so they're saying, will this result in greater or fewer permutations? So let's do the first one. The rule is for permutations. We do the number of items factorial divided, divided by factorials for every repeated amount. So there's three repeated with two, and there's six total. So it starts with six factorial over two factorial times two factorial times two factorial. Again, each of those twos um, represent the first two represents the two m's, the second two the two e's, and the third two the two n's. Now we could calculate that using our calculator as a calculator question, or let's do it um, for the second set, six factorial, divide by three factorial for three m's, times two factorial for two e's, and either one factorial, or we don't even have to write it for the one n because we know this is not uh, this is just one. So it, we can look at this a couple different ways. Um, which one's bigger? You can do it in your calculator. Or we know that this is 6 factorial over 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And this is 6 factorial over 3 times 2 times 2, which is 12. The denominator is bigger on this one, so that is going to make the number lower, resulting in fewer permutations. Again, I didn't even use the calculator here, but you could. Um, this should also make sense. Once you have more repetitions, so 3m's, you're going to have less unique permutations. And that's what permutations are all about, is where order actually matters. Hopefully this is helpful. Let us know if you have questions.